Hey, what's up? This is Soldier Knows Best here, and this is a video going over the new features in the iPod Nano 5th generation. So I'm going to be showing you the video camera, the video playback, all the uh, integrated radio, all that stuff that's in this new device I'm going to be going over. And for playing with it so far, I have to say I am impressed with it. So right now, of course, we're at the main menu, and the main thing about this iPod is the music, okay? It is an iPod. So you go ahead and still access all your music just like you would. And actually, I'm going to show you the... Uh, integrated speaker here so you can hear that it's actually really surprisingly loud now it doesn't have any speaker grills on this device you don't you actually don't even see the speaker it looks like the sound is coming out of the uh, different cracks of the um, iPod connector dock and uh, also the headphone jack that's in there so I'm really, I'm really impressed with it. And I didn't even have it all the way up. That's just all the way up. All right, so you can see, I, I wouldn't say a, a totally crowded room, but if you had a room with a couple of people and y'all want to listen to some music uh, together, it, it would definitely be more, more than capable of doing that for you. But let's get to the star of this show here, and that is the videos and the, the, the video camera on this thing. So um, go ahead and open up the video camera application. And I actually showed me holding my little <laughs> gorilla pod here, my little gorilla stand that's holding the, the iPod Nano up. But there's my fingers, there it is, there is the quality of it, and it's probably hard to tell from this video, but the quality on the screen looks good, and the actual camera quality as well. So we'll go ahead, if you want to go ahead and start shooting the video, all you can do is press down one on the center button, just press down once on it. But if you actually want to do some um, real-time video effects while you're recording, press and hold down this, and it'll bring up all the different uh, effects that you can actually add to your video. So you can scroll through these, like so. And so these are, you know, a lot of these effects are some effects that you actually, most cameras you have to go to an external uh, or a different application after you upload your uh, video to your computer and actually add those effects. But this way you can do them right here and there and make for some good, uh, real quick video, kind of video personalization on the fly. So um, let's say, let me go back. So say you want to go ahead and do one of these here. Then I'm going to go ahead and do the thermal. And so go ahead and select that one. Press once on the center button. And it'll go ahead and start recording the video like so. So you wave your hand. Press stop on it. Just press the one time on the center button. And we can go back here and actually look at our video. Press play. Okay, so again, it, its quality is, I don't want to say it's as better as the, it's better than the 3GS, but it's very close to the 3GS as far as video uh, recording. Now, this thing still can't take pictures. It, can't, it cannot take still pictures. Uh, that's a question a lot of people have. But other than that, it, it still performs very well. And I can really see this as a good camera for um, YouTubers out there to use for vlogs or, I mean, even basic stuff like I type, I, my type of stuff. I can probably use this. So uh, definitely, I'm really liking the video camera. It's great. Now, let's go to the radio. Now, the radio, you need to actually have your headphones actually plugged in because your headphones are actually the antenna for the iPod Nano. It doesn't have a built-in antenna. So I got that plugged in, and here's the radio dial. So you can just use this to scroll through the different stations. So you find the stations you want. You can turn up the volume. And of course, this volume is just coming out of my speakers. But I find this to be very easy. It actually, actually, the information of the song that's playing right there for all the radio stations that support that. So, again, radio into your iPod Nano. One of these things that you used to have an extra adapter for, now it's built into it. And I like it a lot. And so you can add your different favorite radio stations, tag songs, recent songs. All that stuff you can do with this as well. Okay, now let's go to the um, pedometer here. And this is for the Nike Plus or the Nike integration that is coming with all iPods and iPhones. Uh, this allows you to count your steps. So I, was always, I was already walking here, so I don't know if it'll, it'll count it here or not. Yep, there it is. All right, so uh, there it is, counting my steps. You can use this to you know, lose some weight or work out with. And this is one of the things that, you know, again, it's probably something you're not going to use that much, but it's definitely good to have in there. So you can stop that session, you can look at the histories, you can go into 
the settings for this and look at your daily state, state uh, step goal all that good stuff a lot of different things you can do with that so the pedometer works well in here this one still has a accelerometer it wasn't new and this one had it in another one but this does have a accelerometer in here it's going to the extra so you got uh, fitness you can add context clocks calendars all those stuff are pretty much standard in here except for the voice menu memos so now the voice memos are something that's new and so now these headphones do have the microphone in them so I'm here talking right now and it's actually you can see the thing moving on here I'm talking right into the microphone myself okay so all you do is to start recording just press um, down once on the center button and it will start recording great for all your college students out there to record your professors and <laughs> so while you fall asleep you can go back to your dorm and actually listen to it all right, so you're done recording that. And you can add different chapters. Now, this is something I'm just finding out right now as I'm doing this video. So, so say you're recording something, and uh, you will go ahead and stop that recording. So the teacher just got done talking about chapter one, and is going to chapter two or going to a different subject. You can press down once on the button, and it'll add a different chapter to that marker. So you can kind of skip back and forth between your voice memos instead of having to listen to the entire thing. So... So we're learning here together, people. We are learning here together. So uh, let me see. Stop and save. And it's saving the memo. And, of course, I can go back and listen to it. Okay. So that's that. And then, um, so it has a couple games on here as well. So it has a game called Vortex on here. And with the accelerometer, you can turn it any way you really want it. So this screen is very bright, is very bright and vibrant. I really like this screen. Great for movie playback. So this game, you're really just trying to keep the, the ball in the center. It's like my second time playing it. Okay, and I suck. <laughs> Alright, so there it is. So that's a quick little tour of the actual interface of the new iPod Nano. I'm loving this thing. When I first got it, I was really just getting, to be honest, just to do a review on YouTube. But it's one of the devices that I really like and I'm thinking I'll keep, I'm going to keep one. But remember, I am going to be doing a giveaway of an iPod Nano, and you have more details coming to that later. But if you just watched me for the first time, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. That's going to be one of the qualifiers. It's probably going to be the only qualifier, really, because I only ask a lot for you. But if you subscribe to my channel, you'll be automatically entered all my giveaways and also be notified when I upload new videos. But this has been Soldier Knows Best, and I will catch you later. Peace.